Hi, this is Michael Walters with the Stern team at Keller Williams. And Mandy Henry out with Intercap Lending. And our goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to, to your own home selling, buying, and investing goals. Today we're going to go and talk through our fourth quarter in 2018 market statistics for the Wasatch Front. Fourth quarter sales were down in 2018 nearly 7% from 2017. 8,994 homes sold in the fourth quarter this year, compared to just over 9,600 from 2017. And we've seen an 8% an increase in the average sale price year over year. Along the Wasatch Front, we are nearing average sales price of $350,000. With interest rates up nearly a percent in the past 12 months and an exceptionally low inventory of starter homes, first time home buyers are being squeezed pretty tight right now. With that, we're also seeing the average time on market for all housing types along the Wasatch Front decreasing. In the fourth quarter of last year, the Wasatch Front was at a 43 days average time on market, and now we're at 41 days, and that's nearly a 5% uh, time less to sell a home. Currently, we have a tail of two markets. For all price ranges of, uh, where we have an inventory level of 5.3 months of housing types along the Wasatch Front, it's considered a level market when we are closer to six months supply so we're currently in that level market range. But if you look at homes priced under $350,000, our entry level prices, we have a 3.9 months of supply of those properties. And when we look at homes priced above $500,000 for our move up buyers and sellers, we have close to a 10 month supply of homes, which lands in that buyer market space. The higher you go in price, the more it becomes a buyer's market. Well, the housing market is more of a triple trickle up market, meaning, the first time buyers cause the rest of the market's ability to move as well. And when a first time buyer buys, then that seller is able to move up into the next price range of homes. When that seller sells, they are also moving up. So we can see how a lack of supply in affordable housing arena actually impacts the market in the higher price range, as in we have seen more supply of those higher priced homes. For new construction homes, the average asking price along the Wasatch Front is up over just 8% over the fourth quarter of 2017. And for the year of ending 2018, home sales were flat or no change from 2017. Average home prices increased nearly 9% to, to near $340,000, while the median price rose 10% to $300,000. Average price on market decreased by 5%. Like our fourth quarter snapshot, home prices continue to rise while affordability lowers. With that said, we did see an increase in months of supply of inventory from 3.19 months last January to 4.06 months by the end of this past year. So what's in store for 2019? Slightly slower or slightly lower economic and demographic growth along, the high, along with higher prices and interest rates will dampen demand in 2019. These conditions mean fewer single uh, sales of homes, but more condominium and townhome sales as buyers seek affordable housing. Overall average price is expected to grow between 5 and 7 percent. And single family sales will decline 8 percent while condominium sales will increase 7 percent. Total sales, both homes and condominiums, will be down about 4 percent. And with fewer sales but higher sales price, this is still a great time to sell your home. So how about interest rates? Well, how's that going this year? Yeah. As we finish the fourth quarter of 2018, the Feds were expected to increase rates four times in the upcoming year, with further speculation that we could see rates as high as 6%. Due to updated economic data, the Feds have now announced that this original plan has been tempered just a bit, and we're likely to see only one adjustment for this, for this year. 2019 is off to a great start with a slight dip in interest rates. If you've been holding off on the buying process due to fear of high rates, it may be time to look at making a move. As usual, give us a call or send us an email if you have any real estate questions or needs. Also, you're able to get your free instant market evaluation on this site by clicking the Home Evaluation tab or click on the Home Search tab to search real-time all properties by all brokerages for the entire Wasatch Front Market.